Hey, my name's James Wilson and welcome to my YouTube channel. Now in this video, I'm gonna talk about my house price predictions for 2023. Where are they actually gonna end up? Why hasn't the market crashed already? Is it gonna crash? And lots more. So make sure that you stick around to the end of this video because you don't wanna miss out. This will be really, really interesting. And make sure you comment below with your thoughts. Tell me where do you think the market's gonna end up by the end of 2023, make sure you do comment below and subscribe to the channel and hit the bell notification. We've got new content every day. We're looking at two videos a day very, very soon. And make sure you like that video as well. This video even, smash the like button over there, guys. It'll take you two seconds. Go on, do it right now. I'm watching you. Smash that like button, guys, because that really helps us with the YouTube algorithm. So, what a year. What a year it's been. We had some drops in 2022, didn't we? Now. 2020, 2021 and 2022 on the whole were very, very good for property owners. House prices went absolutely bonkers and it just didn't make sense. It really didn't make sense when we were going through that pandemic that house prices increased as they did. Now, initially there was a big drop. Asking prices went down, but that bounced back very, very quickly. And that was because we were really uncertain. And then we realized everyone's getting bit, getting paid. Nobody is spending their money because they can't go out and do stuff. And so they had a lot of savings and people were building up uh, a lot of savings. Now, a lot of people also understood that they didn't want to live in the cities anymore. So London had a bit of an exodus temporarily uh, and people moved to places like Hastings, which was an area that I invested in many years ago, not with any idea that people would come from London to go and live in Hastings. They wanted to be by the beach. Uh, and so that was an area that did very, very well. So now we've gone through a year of more uncertainty. Now, the biggest problem that we've got in the UK that's hitting us at the moment is inflation, right? And so the government are saying, they will do whatever it takes to bring down inflation. That's their goal for 2023. Now, the goal that Rishi Sunak set out was that he would halve inflation by the end of the year. And at the moment, we're nowhere near that. We were at 10% inflation. We were at 87 in May. And it's looking like when the inflation data comes out at the end of this week, we're going to be at 8.5% inflation. That's sticking around. It hasn't gone anywhere fast at all. And that means that the Bank of England have been given the green light to do whatever it takes and raise those interest rates. Now, we were expecting to peak. The bank was saying in around March or April, in the meetings when they raised interest rates, that that was the peak of the market at like four and a half percent. Because this inflation hasn't been dealt with, they're now looking at peaking at six percent, which is going to hit a lot of people very, very hard. Uh, and that's something that we've got to consider when we're investing in property. So inflation's the key driver. Now, rising interest rates are causing problems. Now, why does that hit? landlords particularly hard well a landlord on their mortgage will pay something called interest only so they'll be on an interest only mortgage and so if the interest rate maybe they're on a deal that goes from one and a half percent or one percent to two percent their payments double and there are lots of landlords that have deals at one percent one and a half percent because interest rates were pretty much at zero, right? So there were some very, very good deals out there. So now imagine your interest rate goes from 2% to 6%. That means your monthly payments are going to triple, right? They're going to triple. That means a lot of landlords are leaving the market. Not only that, they're getting hit by EPC certificates. So they've got to uh, improve the energy efficiency in their property. They've also got to look at anything else that they can do uh, to save tax, because if they own the property in their personal name, the tax is now one of the first years where it's prohibitively expensive. They're getting taxed maybe as much as 50% uh, on the gross rent, not on the profits as well. So that's another consideration. 
And so affordability has been hit very, very hard for a lot of people. And that's gonna impact house prices. And that's what we wanna talk about. So where are house prices gonna end up? Well, this year so far, pretty much flat. The market has been pretty much flat, which is not what people are expecting. I think a lot of people, when they see the turmoil that's going on, they see the news headlines, the belief is that the market's just gonna crash overnight, like the stock market does, right? So the stock market could go down 20% in a week, or even in a day, it's possible, right? But it could go down that fast. House prices are very, very slow moving, very, very slow moving. And so it takes a long while for the data to come through, it takes a long while for people to be desperate to sell. And that's why so far this year, we haven't had that drop in house prices that some people are expecting. Now, where are we going to end up? House prices are definitely going to go down in 2023. However, we've had some updates from Nationwide and Halifax, and they're saying that they don't feel there's a crash this year. Now, why should we listen to them? The reason we should listen to the mortgage providers is because they have data no one else does. They have data that surveyors don't have. They have data that estate agents don't have because there aren't lots of huge estate agents. They're at little pockets. Maybe they've got one branch, 10 branches. Some have got 100. But Halifax and Nationwide have got all the data from all the agents. They know the deals that are going through the pipeline at the moment. They know what deals got approved this week. They know what deals have been valued at this week. They know whether that's up, down, sideways, or what's gonna happen and what's gonna complete in 2023. And if they're telling us that they don't feel the market's gonna go down significantly this year, then we need to listen to that. Now that doesn't include cash buyers, because they're a chunk of the market that's gonna make a big difference to this. Of course they are, right? So cash buyers are gonna make a big difference here as well. However, they're a smaller portion of the market. And so our house price is gonna go down this year. I still think house prices are gonna go down around 8% this year. Now, who am I? I don't have a crystal ball. I don't have all the data. I've seen a lot of YouTubers that feel that they've got all this data that other people don't have. Mm, I don't know. I think the analysts always get this stuff wrong. This is just what my gut is telling me. I think that the price drops will be in 2024. I think that's where you start seeing better deals. Now, I got some comments the other day because I found a deal in Dorking that's 30% below market value. But what I want to make clear on that is that could have always happened in any market and the reason that deal is there is a probate sale. The people want to get hands on their money as quickly as they can because they want to use it and they want to spend it. Uh, that's really important. They just don't want it to sit on the market with the risk that the market goes down and they lose that. So they want to put it at a really attractive price to sell it fast. That's one deal out of 100 in one town, right? So that's just 1% that's really got that. And what we're looking at, if you look on Rightmove, you'll see reductions, right? I know a lot of you are commenting and saying, I see reductions in my area. That's normal. In a normal market, you will always see 20 to 30% of the properties reduced because people overvalue them initially, they sit on the market, and then they reduce them to actually get serious about selling it. Now, the reason you haven't seen that for a few years is because it was a red hot market. We've had people that were offering anything. We had auctions that were selling for higher prices than with estate agents in the last couple of years. It wasn't a normal time. So now we're back to a more normal time. I'm not saying house prices aren't going to go down. What I'm saying is it's going to be kicked into 2024. That's when you're going to start seeing stuff more serious. And that's because you'll have multiple interest rate rises this year. That's going to make a big difference. And you'll see people that realise if I really wanna sell this now, I've gotta get serious. And that's when they're gonna start reducing the prices. You'll see that coming through. At the moment, listings on Rightmove that go on new listings, they're not discounted heavily. They went down 82 quid in the last month. So not really much difference there. Doesn't mean that that's what they're selling for, just to be very, very clear. So let me know what you think. I'm sticking with 8% in 2023. Just to be clear, that's the calendar year. And 
I could be totally wrong as well. So could you. But put your guess in the comments below. Keep it kind in the comments. Do like the video and come and join us in the Property Accelerator. Look, if you want to buy property, the time to buy property is when it's on sale, right? And we can help train you on service accommodation, HMOs, buy refurbished refinance rent. We can teach you auctions and you can try all of this for a quid. So in the description below is a link. Come and join us, learn it, I'll mentor you, I'll help you and take your property investing to the next level. Now is the time to get educated and really, really understand this stuff. That's it from me. Check out all the other content on my channel, including this video right here.